श्री गणेशाय नम ओ सरस्वत नम ओ श्री गुरुवे नम ओ भूर्भुवस्व तत्सुर्वरेण्यम भर्गो देवस्मह दियो यो न प्रचोदयात ओम कृष्णाए वासुदेवाय हरए परमात्मने प्रणत क्लेशनाशाय गोविंदाए नमो नमः ओम त्रयंबक यजामहे सुगंधि पुष्टिवर्धनम उर्वाकमिव बंधना मृत्योर्मोक्षीय मृता ओ शाति 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 हरिओ तत्सत वेलकम टू फ्राइडेज योग वशिष्ठ सत्संग This is Swami Nikhilananda. Divine blessings to each one of you as we continue our spiritual journey together. आप सब का मंगल हो, कल्याण हो, and may you all find peace, joy, happiness. And as you may know, Guru Purnima is also coming up. So may you all be blessed with immense blessings of the Guru and your self effort that you are so sincerely putting in so let us all join our hands in prayers in gratitude bhagwan ko dhanyavad de and touch mother earth feel each element and pray for everybody sarve bhavantu sukhinah sarve santu niramaya सर्वे भद्राणि पश्यन्तु मा कश्चित दुख भाग भवेत मे ऑल बी हैप्पी मे ऑल बी पीसफुल जॉयफुल मे नो वन सफर एंड मे वी कंटिन्यू आर जर्नी आर होली स्पिरिचुअल जर्नी टुगेदर विद फेथ लव एंड डीप अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड पेशेंस मे द डिवाइन एनर्जी प्रोवाइड फॉर ऑल ऑल सोल्स are us only no difference the same self reflects differently in different people so may god's blessings be upon all who are hungry who don't have a job who are financially struggling or who may be spiritually struggling in any dimension that they need they may get that guidance from god whatever faith they follow through that energy hari om tat sat with that prayer let us do our dandavat pranams to the holy master swami jyotirmanand ji whose gracious blessings have brought us to this stage where we are enjoying this nectar of satsanga his life contributions and with guru purnima coming up we dedicate the satsanga to him to his glory to his blessings may he have a long and continued healthy life so that all of us may bene- continue to benefit from his subtle blessings divine blessings gurus are beyond the body of course but still we have that feeling that we can be in his presence and his aura while he is still with us on this earth plane swami ji will turn 93 uh, in coming february so he is currently 92 plus but yet every day his satsang continues his message continues 
and we are just a simple spark of that holy divinity and may we all find that blessing deep in our hearts so with that let us read Swamiji's message for today Swamiji says blessed self adorations adopt and adjust to the very tastes and temperaments of people around you very practical advice don't get agitated just look at each person is at a different level so we have to be mindful of that situation be extremely careful not to create a tense situation due to impatience many times we try something it doesn't work we try it again it doesn't work and then we start getting impatient and angry and frustrated and sometimes arguments something as simple as a simple discussion turns into an argument and every person is trying to prove their point nobody is listening and that is a tense situation at that time we should be very careful not to contribute to it we can always keep quiet or excuse ourselves from that situation control your temper and speech these are the two things that are within our control nobody should agitate us to the point where we lose our own control our speech our words belong to us not to others so maintaining equanimity controlling anger keeping our speech in check all very important your mental energy should not be dissipated over the trifles of life sometimes so much energy is wasted in talking about somebody or somebody gave us some difficult time and now we have to tell it to a hundred other people all the time and that is all trifles it does not help with our spiritual journey therefore most advanced sages and saints don't just interact with the world for what is necessary and then they go back just enough to deal with the world but they are not affected by the trifles of life may you also experience that and practice it in our before we sleep we can analyze do a quick scan of our day to see how it went was it good did we was there any opportunity for improvement should we change anything and then change it the following day god gives us all plenty of opportunities in this human life but we are the ones who will have to change so your sacred duty is to develop devotion to god that is the most important bhakti bhakti if bhakti is there then jnana also is beautiful knowledge becomes fragrant but if bhakti is not there it is only artificial flowers <laughs> just like they cannot be genuine they cannot you cannot feel the touch and the feel and the fragrance of a fresh flower but if you have devotion and that is why we all offer flowers to god in every religion doesn't matter which one we all offer flowers because that is a symbol of ether element and the real flowers are your sentiments your devotion your thoughts and feelings that you are giving to god and if you don't have a actual rose or a, or an actual marigold in front of you that's okay you offer the marigold of love of compassion of dedication do mansik mental and do it with love so without devotion nothing else matters so that is our sacred duty any day past without our sincere prayers to god in which devotion wasn't there or we just did it mechanically or a tear did not come out of our eyes then that day is wasted in god's in in the spiritual dimension you may have 
made a signed a big business contract you may have done a lot of worldly things but if they keep you in rajas only and you miss the whole purpose then that is to be avoided is what swami ji says that is the sacred duty sacred duty why because today we are here tomorrow we will be we will <laughs> evaporate we will depart now is the time wait and watch <clears throat> there are times when even with your best efforts you are unable to resolve a problem happens to the best of us it has nothing to do with praying to god and making things easy and all that happening no it is all a journey spiritual journey the more weights you pick up the more your muscles will get stronger but you cannot do it overnight it will have to be over a long period of time so much in the same way swami ji says continue your best effort and if it doesn't work that's a difficult karma difficult karma that has come from the past and once we have put in our best we just surrender it is called sharanagati okay god i am not lazy i am not ignorant i have not avoided my duty i have done everything within my power and i have tried it a few times it's just please give me the guidance and the energy and the willingness and then some mystical force will come to help you in some way <clears throat> but there are many times where our problems are not resolved so endure with the spirit of austerity at that time be humble and many times the solution comes in our dream during our sleep walking in the morning so we should always be practical but yet do our best you are bound to triumph if you do that you can do anything within your capacity to aap sab ka mangal ho kalyan ho and um, all of you dedicated sadhaks you are all advanced sadhaks advanced this satsang is not for just average people this is not an entertainment place this is a place to develop our devotion and to find the path to self realization mukti ka marg dhoondne ka marg hai ye yog vashishth ek itna pavitra granth hai yog vashishth is such a divine and pure scripture that if we listen with faith and with attention we are bound to succeed in our mission jab hum is marg par dhyan se aayenge to hamara kalyan nishchit hi hoga there is no question whether it will happen or not it it will for sure help our soul to a great extent may god bless you gain swami jyotirmayananda so with this we humbly prostrate to our guru ji to all the holy scriptures to the divinity in every one of you aap sab ke andar विद्यमान परमात्मा को प्रणाम आप सबको प्रणाम ईश्वर को हमारे गुरु को पवित्र ग्रंथों को शास्त्रों को प्रणाम तो विद दिस थॉट एंड विद गुरु पूर्णिमा कमिंग अप मे ऑल द गुरुज कंटिन्यू गुरु मीन्स गुरु दो शब्द से बनता है गुरु गु इज डार्कनेस गुफा हिंदी में गुफा मीन्स अ केव केव मीन्स डार्कनेस तो वहाँ अंधेरा रहता है गुफा में और रू मतलब जो अंधेरे से उजाले में ले आए रूहानी लाइट सो अवर जॉब इज टू कम फ्रॉम द डार्कनेस टू द लाइट अंधेरा क्या है ये संसार का माया जाल अंधेरा है थिंकिंग दैट आई विल लिव फॉर एवर इज डार्कनेस एंड वॉट इज द लाइट द गुरु इज शाइनिंग द लाइट टू लुक विद इन अपनी आत्मा को पहचानो अपने अंदर आप ही में सब मंदिर विद्यमान हैं यू दे हो दे वाले प्रोक्तो योर देहा योर बॉडी इज द मोस्ट सीक्रेट टेम्पल जीवो देवो सदा शिवा जीवा द स्पिरिट इन यू इज लॉर्ड शिवा द जैन अज्ञान निर्मालयात 
सो जस्ट लाइक वेन यू क्लीन द टेम्पल एवरी मॉर्निंग आप जो खराब फूल हो जाते हैं उनको हटा देते हैं और नए नए फूल नए नए भावना से भगवान का पूजा करते हैं यू प्रे टू गॉड विद रिन्यू डिवोशन यू रिमूव ऑल दी ओल्ड फ्लावर्स दैट हैव नाउ कॉटन बैड और आर नो लॉन्गर ब्लूमिंग मच इन द सेम वे सोहम पूजितम भवेत मच इन द सेम वे यू गो विद इन एंड रिमूव द इन प्योरिटीज ऑफ द स्टिंकिंग फ्लावर्स दैट आर नो लॉन्गर फ्रेश the problems that are caused constantly in our body anger jealousy greed <laughs> all these things to dheere dheere inko hata ke kya karna hai replace them with beautiful flowers of devotion love compassion sweetness kindness to jab hum ye sab karenge when we will do all these beautiful sentiments and emotions and beautiful um, feelings then only we are truly worshiping god so deho devalaya no if you are at that level then wherever you go you are in a temple because your body is the temple aapka sharir hi mandir ban jata hai to fir aapke andar hi bhagwan ka nivas hai to wherever you go you become a radiant flower jahan par bhi aap jate hain aapki sugandh log mehsoos karenge people will find your fragrance to permeate and give people peace logon ko shanti bhi milegi aapke rehne se and uh, that is the the beauty of uh, understanding कि ये हड्डी मांस का शरीर नहीं है सिर्फ जो आपको दिखता है जो देख रहे हैं ये आँख ये डिफरेंट डिफरेंट बॉडी पार्ट्स ये तो आज हैं कल नहीं रहेंगे लेकिन आपके अंदर जो प्रकाश है जिस प्रकाश से आपको दिव्य अनुभूति होती है जो आपकी आत्मा है वहीं से ही आपको सब कुछ दिखता है उसी के कारण आप सब कुछ कर पाते हो इट इज़ योर द लाइट ऑफ द सोल विद इन दैट इज Uh, creating all the other lights your intellect your mind your senses your ego they are all being illumined by the light of the self to us atma ki jyoti prakash punj se hi sab kuch sambhav ho pa raha hai uske bina kuch bhi sambhav nahi hota hai so with that thought let us do our kirtan and then we will get into yoga vashishtha हरिओं तत्सत जय गणेश जय गणेश जय गणेश पाहिमा श्री गणेश श्री गणेश श्री गणेश दक्ष मां शरवण भव शरवण भव शरवण भव पाहिमा कार्तिके अकार्तिके अकार्तिके दक्ष मां जय सरस्वती जय सरस्वती जय सरस्वती पाही माम श्री सरस्वती श्री सरस्वती श्री सरस्वती रक्ष माम जय गुरु शिव गुरु हरि गुरु राम जगत गुरु परम गुरु सदगुरु श्याम ओम आदि गुरु अद्वैत गुरु आनंद गुरु ओम चिद गुरु चिद घन गुरु चिन्मय गुरु ओम जगत गुरु ओम गुरु सचिदानंद शंकराचार्य शिवानंद ज्योतिर्मयानंद ओम नम शिवाय ओम नम शिवाय ओम नम शिवाय ओम नम शिवाय शिव 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 शिवाय नम ओम हर 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 नम शिवाय ओम नमो नारायणाय ओम नमो नारायणाय ओम नमो नारायणाय ओम नमो नारायणाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते रामचंद्राय हरे राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे हरे आंजनेया 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 पाही माम 
ಹನುಮಂತ 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 ರಕ್ಷ ಮಾಂ ಓಂ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಓಂ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಓಂ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಪಾಹಿ ಮಾಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಶಕ್ತಿ ವಿಷ್ಣು ಶಕ್ತಿ ಶಿವ ಶಕ್ತಿ ರಕ್ಷ ಮಾಂ ಆದಿಶಕ್ತಿ ಮಹಾಶಕ್ತಿ ಪರಾಶಕ್ತಿ ಪಾಹಿ ಮಾಂ ಇಚ್ಛಾಶಕ್ತಿ ಕ್ರಿಯಾಶಕ್ತಿ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಶಕ್ತಿ ರಕ್ಷ ಮಾಂ ಗಂಗಾ ರಾಣಿ ಗಂಗಾ ರಾಣಿ ಗಂಗಾ ರಾಣಿ ಪಾಹಿ ಮಾಂ ಭಾಗೀರಥಿ 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 ರಕ್ಷ ಮಾಂ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಹರಿ 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 ಓಂ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಹರಿ 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 ಓಂ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ಅವರ್ ಜರ್ನಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ವೇರ್ ವಿ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಯೋಗ ವಶಿಷ್ಠ ಹಮ್ ಯೋಗ ವಶಿಷ್ಠ ಕೆ ಅಂತಿಮ ಚರಣ ತಕ್ ಪಹುಂಚ ಚುಕೆ ಹೈ ಯೋಗ ವಶಿಷ್ಠ ವೋ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಹೈ ಜೋ ವಶಿಷ್ಠ ಮುನಿ ನೇ ಭಗವಾನ್ ರಾಮ ಕೋ ಉನ್ಕೆ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ಕಾರ ಕೆಲಿಯೇ ದಿಯಾ ಥಾ ಯೋಗ ವಶಿಷ್ಠ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ದಟ್ ಗೈಡೆಡ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ರಾಮಾ ಟು ಅಟೇನ್ ಎನ್ ಲೈಟನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ so today we are picking up section 175 of the nirvan prakarana <coughs> nirvan meaning mukti liberation self realization which we are all trying to do in our own different ways but these scriptures are profoundly helpful for us on that journey so lord rama is being guided by his guruji vashishth muni and section 1 we had covered the negation of illusion last friday <coughs> and moving on today we are picking up section 175 of the self alone exists self matlab atma aapki atma hi ek vastavik satya hai the self alone is the only reality sage vashishtha continued o rama the primeval consciousness assumes the role of an individual soul due to ignorance and enters into the world of this dream of the world process how does it do it by developing identification with the physical body sustained by desire action and subtle impressions to kya bataya ja raha hai ki atma jo hai ye hum jeevatma kehlate hain we are known as jeevas and the consolidated energy of all the jeevas is known as paramatma so we are a jeevatma and god is the paramatma the sum total of all the souls that are living so but at our jeevatma level we have ignorance ignorance is avidya why avidya because what is unreal you consider as real you think your body is real but it is unreal <laughs> it will depart one day isn't it and all the things you see that are appearing real sky appears blue is it really blue no the earth seems static is it really static no it's revolving even as we speak so all the things due to ignorance keep us in this world process and this body identification is very deep ये शरीर के साथ जो तादात्म है बहुत गुड है बिकॉज इट हैज बिन गोइंग ऑन फॉर मेनी 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 लाइफ टाइम्स ये कई जन्मों से कई जीवात्माओं से आपके अंदर कई आपने शरीर बदल लिए लेकिन ये शरीर का मोह नहीं गया 
just because three things action, desire kamna nahi khatam hoti hai desires are endless whatever you desire you will get that is the law of nature and that means you are also being bound to the world process you desire if you are very poor and you want to be rich you desire to be rich and then nature will do something where if you have been doing good actions you will become rich in your next birth because you have that desire your desire is not to get liberated you simply want to be rich at this current level where you are at and that is what nature will fulfill for you so whatever we do jo jo hum bhagwan se mangte hain wahi pura hota hai and then the other thing is we do actions also we do actions we study we become doctors we become engineers whatever we want to do through our effort self effort <coughs> and we succeed so we say okay humne ye koshish kiya aur ye humne pa liya to wo jo hai there is a subtle ego subtle intellect that goes deep within and that is what also binds us because then we start getting attached hum usse judna shuru ho jate hain and subtle impressions subtle impressions is very complex term because over many embodiments kai sharir mein aapne ye chhota chhota impressions ko ekatrit kiya hai what are these impressions impressions of anger or love or greed or hate or uh, success so many impressions we have and fear of death also because nobody wants to die yet everybody has to die isn't it marna koi bhi nahi chahta lekin jana to har ek ko hoga chahe hame acha lage ya nahi to iske liye bhagwan batate hain ki ye sab hamara moh ke karan hum bande hue hain because of these attachments we are tied up and tied up why because we are ignorant otherwise there would be no reason to be sad no reason to be worrying इग्नोरेंस इज द मेन कल्प्रेट समझ गए सो प्रायर टू क्रिएशन द सेल्फ एलोन एग्जिस्ट ये धरती और ब्रह्मांड बजने बनने से पहले केवल आत्मा ही था एक भगवान का ओनली वन दैट इज वाई वे से अद्वैत प्रिंसिपल नॉन डुअल वी आर नाउ मल्टीपल वी हैव क्रिएटेड दिस मल्टीप्लिसिटी इवन इन दिस वर्ल्ड वी से नाइन बिलियन पीपल बट एवरीबडी हैज different shapes and forms but same feature same thing same happiness same joy same sadness same death same birth everything different nationalities they speak different language that's why they say tears say it all your face is the most important language usi se hi pata chal jata hai aap sukhi hain ya dukhi hain khush ho ya naraz ho are you happy or are you in pain because people will you haven't said anything but somebody will tell you what's wrong why are you so why are you feeling like that your face gives it away you didn't even say anything so this is why the universal language of love is very important the most and you don't need to learn it either you don't have to for german you will have to learn german if you don't know german you will have to learn french if you don't know french or english or hindi or whatever but language of love when a new born baby is born and he smiles at you that is the language of love with the bond between the mother and the child no language is spoken yet nothing he just looks one look at his mother he has arrived that's it god has created him now the mother will have to put everything together it's not for him to worry apne aap dood aayega apne aap uske rehne ka sthan ban jayega all those things will happen through divine nature but there is only one self through which this multiplicity is created so just as a person experiences various objects during dream so too this self experiences numerous objects through the multiplicity of the souls in the dream of the world process same thing again we repeat and repeat the same thing about the dream experience or waking up experience that maybe one day like swami ji calls it gada parinyaya gada parinyaya repeat the same thing because when we will get that final hit that will take us to that realization 
we will then be intuitively experienced right now we are theoretically experienced we read we say yeah 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 understand every night nature is creating the dream creating your reality in your dream jo sar sapne kaate koi bin jaage dukh dur na hoi if somebody is trying to chop off our neck in our dream it's a pretty bad nightmare what is the solution wake up that's the only solution no other solution can help you any dream solution will not create the give you the answer koi bhi swapna ka uttar aapko swapna mein nahi aayega jagna padega you will have to wake up much in the same way the self is there are multiple souls but yet there is only one energy look at this other example there is only one sun in our solar system yet its rays reflections of the rays are multiple everywhere so but yet the sun is only one so when the world is realized as unreal the soul in a sage discovers its essential identity as the non dual self samajh gaye so what are we saying here that for the sages their waking condition in this world is similar to a person who is dreaming when you dream it is called anivarchaniya hindi word anivarchaniya meaning jisko hum samjha nahi sakte baat nahi kar sakte we cannot explain क्योंकि सपने में कुछ तो है दिखता तो है यू आर सींग समथिंग इन योर ड्रीम नॉट ओनली आर यू सींग यू आर ऑल्सो हियरिंग इट एंड एक्सपीरियंसिंग इट सो बट वेन यू वेक अप एवरी थिंग इज गॉन सो मच इन द सेम वे द सेजेज हु आर एनलाइट एंड जो जीवन मुक्त संत हैं उनको भी ये संसार दिखता तो है अनुभव तो होता है बुढ़ापा भी आता है भूख भी लगता है और मृत्यु भी होता है वो सब लेकिन अंदर से उन्हें ये ज्ञात हो चुका है कि ये सब सपना है दिस इज ऑल अ ट्रांजियंट ड्रीम जस्ट लाइक इन अ ड्रीम यू डोंट वेक अप एंड क्राई ओ आई वॉन्ट अ लॉटरी इन माई ड्रीम वेयर इज माई मनी यू डोंट फाइल अ लॉ सूट यू डोंट लुक फॉर इट सिमिलरली इफ इट वॉज अ बैड ड्रीम यू आर रिलीव इट वॉज ओनली अ ड्रीम इट्स ओवर so good and bad alternate but in both cases it is ignored isn't it hum aapke apne anubhav ki baat kar rahe hain koi bahut bada gyan nahi hai this is not something that we are pulling out of the uh, the space we are telling you what you experience in your daily life isn't it so so that is why the sages use this example for us to realize that think of a sage living in this world for him he is dreaming but for you and me we are awake for us it this world seems very real but for those people it is unreal as long as the supreme self is not known so long there exists the impurity of ignorance very important to understand kya bol rahe hain ki jab tak atma gyan nahi hoga तब तक हम सब अविद्या से ग्रसित हैं दिस वर्ल्ड इज अ जायंट हॉस्पिटल डजेंट मैटर हाउ हेल्दी यू आर इन बॉडी एंड माइंड नेवर द लेस दिस इज अ वी आर ऑल डिसीज डिजीज वाई बिकॉज वी आर ऑलवेज एट दिस इज we are never fully comfortable we can never be on this earth plane that's why it's called mrityu loka the world of death and transience death means changing some uh, one moment dies another one is born then that one goes another one is coming and so it's a series of sequences only so vashishth muni says jab tak atma gyan nahi hua tab tak hum sab murkh hi hain till we get self realized till that point doesn't matter how many doctorate degrees we have acquired how many bhajans we have sung how many phd's we have earned all that is under the realm of ignorance because we are in this world of transient transactions jo aaj hai kal nahi rahega wo sab to avidya hi hai na 
avidya hai because it is beyond your control if we had control then we would have conquered it by now we would have always lived perpetually that doesn't happen like that the divine law jo ye bhagwan ka jo nyay hai wo bahut good hai god's law works in deep ways so when the self is known ignorance vanishes what a simple sentence let's repeat it when the self is known ignorance vanishes and how does ignorance vanish <laughs> when the self is known how is the how is the self known by doing these things repeatedly day after day and year after year and in a totally deep dedicated manner so ignorance is avidya lack of knowledge and when it vanishes obviously there is the light of the self much in the same way when the sun shines darkness vanishes kuch karna thoda hi padta hai jab andhera hai andhere se jab ujala ka prakash pehli kiran nikalti hai to apne aap dheere dheere sab andhera khatam ho jata hai just as it's early morning dawn the birds are twittering and chirping and the rays of the first ray of the light is come the sky is becoming beautiful color golden and now everything that was totally dark ekdam andhera tha ab aapko ujala dikhna shuru ho gaya and when it comes everywhere it creates light sab jagah aur aapka aise hi hamare andar ka avidya ignorance vanishes jab humko atmagyan ho jata hai so when we are reading it it's like looking at a picture of food but when we are actually realized we have eaten that food we have digested that food we have enjoyed that experience otherwise it is all in theory oh this is a beautiful dish this is what it looks like and so on so when we are preparing for this journey but that is also important isn't it it is important because if you don't know what to do how will you get to the actual steak first you have to know the recipe then you have to get the ingredients and then you have to make a few mistakes eventually you learn aise hi hum sab ke andar bhi yahi marg hota hai so but the idea is that we are all praying for ignorance to be dispelled and light to come just as the dreamer realizes the illusions of his dream when he wakes up in the same way one realizes the illusion of the world process when one wakes up to the awareness of the self so very simple just like what we discussed when you wake up from your dream you no longer worry about the dream in the same way when you wake up from the world process you will no longer worry about the world process we are currently asleep even though our eyes are open even though we are working and doing things hum jo kuch bhi kar rahe hain kaam kar rahe hain kama rahe hain bacche paida karte hain dhyan karte hain wo sab avashyak hai practical realities will not change just because you are working on this path of self real like your dream while you are dreaming <laughs> while you are dreaming jab tak aapka nidra chal raha hai tab tak aapka anubhav satya hai you are going through joy or pain whatever your dream looks like if your dream is joyful then you are enjoying serenity and if it is painful you are being in crying and in pain but both are unreal because as soon as you wake up they don't exist but you cannot say it's unreal while you are dreaming does that make sense jab aap sapna dekh rahe hain us samay to dikh raha hai na ki main ye kar raha hu wo kar raha hu aur aapki atma hi ye sab kuch bana leti hai it's your consciousness that creates all the things in your dream the rivers the oceans the mountains the snake you yourself so many things your consciousness has created that is the multiplicity isi ko hum dwait bolte hain but jab aap uth jate ho everything is bundled up and gone isn't it much in the same way you will realize 
and that is called the journey towards self realization mukti ka marg this self is purer than the purest than the that the human mind can conceive of to hamara jo jad buddhi hai hum logon ka we are calling it the dull intellect doesn't matter who we are because if we are attached to the world then our intellect is dull because hame wahi acha lag raha hai wahi sapne se jagna hi nahi cha rahe hai to like you never want to get out of your dream can you do that it's not possible some people sleep for 6 hours some 8 hours some 10 hours but eventually you will wake up much in the same way this creation arises as a wave in the self aise hi ye jo brahmand hai ye srishti hai ye ek tarang ki tarah hai this is just like a wave just like there are countless waves in the ocean much in the same way there are countless waves in the self in fact the pure self alone surges with the water of its own purity that is why this journey we need satsang we need effort we need to decode this deep mystery ye jo mystery hai jisko hum brahmand ki shakti bolte hain ye itni good hai that science is only a baby right now we are just little doing little little things finding cures going to mars doing this doing that that's all good but in god's view can our ears hear can we we can hear right but can our ears see no your ears can only hear kaan keval sun sakte hain dekh nahi sakte samajh gaye aankh keval dekh sakti hai lekin sun nahi sakti aise hi aapki nasika keval sun sakti hai aur chakh nahi sakti see how limited we are in the realm of consciousness so we can only eyes can only see but not hear ears can only hear but not see and your uh, nostrils can only smell but can touch or taste and your tongue can only taste but not see or touch see the other four senses are hidden only one sense at a time and therefore the combination of these five senses ya aapke panch indriyon ka jo समूह है ये मन के द्वारा निर्धारित किया जाता है योर माइंड बिकम्स द सेंट्रल प्रोसेसिंग यूनिट दैट टेल्स यू व्हाट टू डू हाउ टू डू एंड इट गेट्स इट्स डायरेक्शन फ्रॉम द इंटेलेक्ट उसको वो विद्या कहां से प्राप्त होती है बुद्धि से सो देयर इज नो नो सच थिंग एज प्योर एज दैट सेल्फ दैट कॉन्शियसनेस व्हिच वी कॉल आत्मा तो वैसी कोई भी वस्तु इस ब्रह्मांड में नहीं है and the person who is able to attain that is purer than everything he becomes enlightened such a saint is called self realized to jeevan mukt sant wahi ho jate hain jo ye sab kar pate hain so this self appears as the cosmic mind even as the ocean appears in the forms of waves so just like there are waves in the ocean all the self is coming from hiranyagarbha hiranyagarbha meaning the cosmic mind for every thing that is created there has to be a cause koi karan hota hai to karya hota hai through that things are created so the cosmic mind continues to create and destroy this world ceaselessly so this chakra of the world process of creation and dissolution which we call the world only calls it the big bang theory lord shiva calls it the constant bang theory bang 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 all the time it's going on the damru of lord shiva so dissolution and uh, chakras treta yug dwapar yug sat yug kali yug all these yugas they keep on circulating time keeps on passing and brahma shiva vishnu they also keep changing after 100 years a new brahma comes so they are all also within the constraints of time and space so this self appears as the cosmic mind to ye hiranyagarbha se juda hai that is why they say it is so easy to get god if you go within aap ek chawal ka dana dekh lo theek hai तो पूरा चावल बन गया अगर वो कच्चा है तो पूरा अभी चावल कच्चा ही है इफ वन ग्रेन ऑफ राइस इज कुक्ड देन यू असूम दैट द होल पॉट इज कुक्ड ओनली सो देयरफॉर 
यू डोंट हैव टू सॉल्व द मिस्ट्रीज ऑफ द यूनिवर्स आपको पूरा ब्रह्मांड छानने की जरूरत नहीं है पूरा प्लैनेट्स देखने का आवश्यकता नहीं है केवल अपने अंदर जाइए गो विद इन फाइंड योर ओन सेल्फ एंड यू विल फाइंड दी एंसर देर फोर यू सी मोस्ट सेजेस एंड सेंट्स मेडिटेटिंग दे आर गोइंग विद इन अपने अंदर जाकर वो रत्न निकाल लेते हैं सो थॉट्स विल राइज एंड फॉल जस्ट लाइक वेव्स राइज एंड फॉल जैसे वेव्स में भी ऊंचा वेव पापा वेव मामा वेव बिग वेव स्मॉल वेव ऑल दीज वेव्स विल कम मच इन द सेम वे दिस इन दिस ओशन द माइंड विल कंटिन्यू टू हैव एजुकेटेड थॉट्स रेस्टलेस थॉट्स पीसफुल थॉट्स लविंग थॉट्स काइंड थॉट्स मीन थॉट्स इट विल कीप ऑन गोइंग थ्रू इट्स ओन जर्नी so we have to teach the mind what thoughts to have how to have it and creating a direction on that perspective so this cosmic mind only jisko hum hiranyagarb bolte hain that becomes the individual soul as well as the physical universe by the force of cosmic illusion cosmic illusion is this mahamaya mahamaya meaning what appears real but is not real that is the mystery it seems like so the same energy that creates these mountains and oceans and rivers and countries and continents and galaxies and milky ways that energy that same energy is radiating in you आपके हृदय में भी वही शक्ति जिसने पूरे इस ब्रह्मांड की रचना की है वही आपके हृदय में भी धड़क रही है उसी को बोलते हैं जीवात्मा जीवा यू हैव दैट बट सिंस मोस्ट पीपल आर इग्नोरेंट दे डोंट वांट टू फोकस ऑन दैट एरिया दे आर ऑलवेज बिजी विद द वर्ल्ड प्रोसेस दैट इज अडन सीक्रेट हिडन not hidden intentionally it's there for anybody everybody is can be enlightened it doesn't only belong to sages and saints anybody who is willing to put the effort can achieve it but they have to be sincere on this path and follow the rules so when a person is endowed with a subtle penetrating vision he realizes the falsity of the entire creation that is why they say advait there is no two there is only one ultimately everything folds into one cosmic consciousness so when a person is endowed with a penetrating subtle penetrating vision you cannot do a surgery of a heart patient with a hammer can you <laughs> so it will not work so the surgeon needs so many proper little thin instruments scissors scalpels this that and then he has to have the full knowledge and then he is able to sew up all the stitches that he creates what he does so much in the same way with that effort we can also realize the self and understand that all this is false therefore we need the proper tools what are the proper tools one is what we are doing right now that's a proper tool satsang satsangatve nihsangatvam nihsangatve nirmohatvam nirmohatve nischal tatvam nischal tatve jeevan mukti agar aap mukt hona chahte hain ye uncha gyan lena chahte hain sansar mein केवल भीख ही नहीं मांगते रहे भगवान से कि गिव मी दिस गिव मी दिस गॉड लेट मी हैव दिस लेट मी हैव दैट देन ऑल दोस आर लाइक किंडर गार्डन छोटा छोटा भगवान से केवल संसारी चीज मांगा तो क्या मांगा जब आपके पास मुक्ति मांगने की क्षमता है बट देन देर इज दिस अदर रूल ऑल्सो वेन यू एस्क यू ऑल्सो हैव टू पुट इन योर एफर्ट तो गॉड हेल्प्स दोज हुल्प दम सेल्स सो दिस इज वाई यू विल नीड अ पेनिट्रेटिंग एंड अ सटल विजन सत्संग इज अ पोटेंट टूल वेन यू कम इन एसोसिएशन विद सेजेस एंड सेंट्स एंड स्क्रिप्चर्स वी कनेक्ट विद दीज सेजेस डजेंट मैटर वेदर दे आर नो लॉन्गर अ लाइफ दे आर बुक्स दे आर वर्ड्स दे आर एनर्जी दे आर सटल प्रेजेंस इज देयर 
तो इन दिस कल युग देर हार्डली एनी बडी इज टेकिंग द टाइम टू पुट इन सिंसियर सेल्फ एफर्ट और सत्संग तो वेन दोज पीपल डू दैट दे गेट ब्लेस्ड दे गेट ब्लेस्ड बाय द गुरुज बाय द सेम सेज इज गॉड इट्स ऑल ओनली वन देर इज नो many many gods or many many devtas you can pray to shiva or rama or jesus or anybody whatever that comes close to your heart god can take any form bhagwan ko mushkil nahi hai hum logon ko mushkil hai ye humne banaye hain dharm religion is man made we have made it but and we are totally ignorant are when we have not even removed our own ignorance how can we tell you tell others what god looks like what his features are what is this what is that all blind leading the blind ek andha dusre andhe ko rasta dikha raha hai yahi baat hai dharm mein so but when you come to the experience that is different this is why Uh, the sages and saints will simply say i did this i realized this this helped me you may try so you will have to try and then see if that works for you and that helps you because anubhav when you experience something that is very different than just watching it just theoretical theoretical is not enough on this path otherwise we we all would have been enlightened years ago because we already know there is one self we already know duality non duality we already know the cosmic relationships we already know what atma is to kya samasya hai <laughs> what is the problem see the problem is our attachments there are two boats one goes towards god the other one is going to the world uh, to the worldly journey and both boats boats look very good we don't want to leave any one of them and we think uh, uh, you know so what will happen to you if you put your feet on two separate boats at the same time is it possible no you will have an accident split apart so therefore put get into the boat that god taking you to god realization pick the boat that is on the journey to god because through that whether you call it god you call it guru you call it bhakti you call it attach you know your journey whatever you call it god doesn't care he simply wants to help you and it's your problem isn't it we are the ones who have fallen into the ditch we have to get up what difference will it make to god whether you pray or you don't pray whether you do this or you don't don't do it apna karm jo aap karenge wo aapko parinam milega whatever karma you will do you will get the reaction accordingly so it is for our benefit that we ask for god's love his guidance his compassion that may we have an intellect that we can understand these deep mysteries of god may we not be entangled by this world मानस भजरे गुरु चरणम दुस्तर भव सागर तरणम ओ मैन प्लीज होल्ड ऑन टाइट टू योर गुरुज फीट बिकॉज दिस भव सागर दिस ट्रांजियंट वर्ल्ड प्रोसेस इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट इट इज लाइक अ रेजर एज सोर्ड बिकॉज इट्स इज नथिंग it's our practical experience we see how easily we can get trapped into the illusions of lust of jealousy greed anger and opulence you see somebody's bigger home all of a sudden your own home that is so wonderful starts to look small and bad why <laughs> see we do it to ourselves nobody does it to you you can be richer than a king you can be like a monarch if and you may be living in a hut it doesn't matter it has to be your inner conscience aapke andar ki atma ki awaaz usko agar aap sun lenge to anand hi anand aayega lekin hum log kya karte hain we are always in dealing in this artificial world of uh, i have to fit in i have to do this i have to do that and that is the journey slowly with evolution you will say you know what it really doesn't matter aisi lagi lagan mera ho gayi magan 
जब आपके अंदर भक्ति भाव जागेगा वेन यू सी गॉड इज दी ओनली रियालिटी देन एवरी थिंग एल्स अराउंड यू विल बिकम नॉन एग्जिस्टेंट इट वुड मैटर यू आर नो लॉन्गर ट्राइंग टू प्लीज योर फिट इन टू पीपल्स बॉक्सेज एनी मोर यू विल डू वॉट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर यू एंड देन द होल वर्ल्ड विल बो डाउन टू यू If you are a sincere sadhak, a sincere aspirant, a sincere um, person, devotee of God, everything it has to. There is no other way. कुछ और तरीका है ही नहीं. A flower does not have to advertise its beauty. It does not have to advertise its fragrance. It will automatically soothe people. It will automatically help you. much in the same way when you are on this path and you are being guided by real masters real teachers and you are following the scriptures in a proper way then all that will help you greatly so that is the journey and uh, with the realization of the self one attains supreme contentment see another beautiful benefit that will come out is that as even not even with the realization as long as you are walking on this journey and in a profound way agar aap vastav mein ek acche sadhak hain if you are sincerely following this journey of the self then then the worldly stuff will matter less and less to you actually it will become more obstruction you would want to enjoy your inner peace that is much more pretty much more beautiful much more serene than whatever the world can give you but that stage cannot be forced wo andar se aana chahiye jaise jaise aapka unnati hoga as as you will progress on that journey you will have that um, that process so even while engaged in the daily activities of life a sage does not lose his inward serenity and these are the marks of truly enlightened teachers sages saints that they live what they speak they don't just otherwise it becomes hypocritical doesn't it i tell you something but i cannot do it then why am i telling you it is just sounding good helping all that is okay but really unless we this is the journey and you will only resonate with the person who is sincere otherwise you will not resonate with them so many people speak such flowery language so such good english <laughs> but yet you don't feel connected to them why because you know it's all surface level surface level very good inwardly nothing so therefore this is the journey of contentment are you feeling contented that's the question you should ask yourself if you are really feeling blissful and peaceful and contented then bravo wonderful keep keep going you are on the right path but if agar shanti nahi mil rahi hai dusron ki cheeze achhi lag rahi hain dusron ka bachche achhe lag rahe hain this that is happening you are not inwardly peaceful or something is agitating you then you know that more homework is needed we are all works in progress isn't it so every sinner is a saint in the making that's how ratnakar who wrote this yog vashisht sage valmiki is his name he as you know was a highway robber and look at his contribution in one lifetime he wrote the ramayana and he wrote yoga vashisht also so sages also don't lose inward serenity meaning they are inwardly serene they don't need to actually take the trip to himalayas to enjoy the cold ice and the beautiful breeze all they do is close their eyes meditate and enjoy that experience in a profound way because they have no no desires inwardly they are so contented so he continues to enjoy the bliss of the self in the silence of his heart can you imagine just a deep sleep experience jab aapko achhi nidra aati hai usi ka anubhav aapko kitna sukhad lagta hai you find so much uh, 
uh, peace. You say, ah, I slept so well. I feel so refreshed. Well, that is just a small sleep. But can you imagine if that experience continued while you are working, talking, walking, eating, sleeping, doing everything? So imagine that experience of enlightenment that the sages have is always blissful. Even though externally they may be struggling from a life-threatening disease, they may be terminal, but inwardly that reality does not change that they are sincere. They look at their body as simply a transient wave. That's it. So they enjoy the bliss in the self and silence of their heart. So that is what this world needs more. But they don't have bliss. They have instead what? Bigger homes, more gadgets, more iPhones, better cars, more things. Things are okay. No problem. We are not saying you shouldn't have things. If you have them, you have the money. Okay, keep them. But inwardly, you should not be attached to them where you are not having time to do your puja, you are not having time to listen to satsang because now you need to make, you need to run here, you need to run there. There are endless things we do as human beings, but ultimately every person has to go through their own journey. Samaj gaye? Har ek ko apni apni yatra khud karni hai, to jisko jaisi ja ki bhavana jaisi hoi, bas प्रभु वैसी ही मूरत हम देखते हैं भगवान की भी जैसे हमारी भावना होती है इफ आर इफ वी आर इम्प्योर वी विल फाइंड फॉल्ट्स विद गॉड आल्सो वेल व्हाई डिड दिस हैपन टू मी गॉड डिड दैट टू हिम बट ही डिडंट डू दैट टू मी सो यू सी दिस इज अ लॉन्ग जर्नी वेयर वी नीड अ लॉट ऑफ पेशेंस हमको बहुत शांति इस काम के लिए चाहिए so uninterrupted by the closing and openings of the eyelids the eyes remain the same see you're constantly blinking through your eyelids does that matter does that create a problem for your eyes no you continue to live on like that similarly the self within you remains the same during creation and destruction think of creation night day morning evening activity begins activity ends all these are your eyelids eyes seeing but all this opening and coming and going will continue which are like closing and opening of the eyelids of the cosmic being to jaise ye brahmandiya shakti chalti hai aise hi aapke andar ye sab chalta hai it is deep sleep that is modified into the dream state suddenly from dream you go to deep sleep and from deep sleep you go into dream and finally you wake up and you cannot do two things at the same time is it possible for you to be awake and dreaming we are not talking about day dreaming the real dream like when you are sleeping you are not awake and when you are in deep sleep you are not dreaming and when you are awake you are not dreaming or deep sleeping also so it is this transcendental self that undergoes an illusory modification and manifests in the three states of sleep sleep dream and waking outside of these three is the fourth dimension which we call the transcendental state so the self is simply a witness watching everything वो केवल एक शांत दर्शक की तरह देखता रहता है आपकी आत्मा उसके ऊपर कुछ भी प्रभाव नहीं पड़ता है इट हैज नो इम्पैक्ट एट ऑल कंटिन्यूज ऑन सो इग्नोरेंस इज द कॉज ऑफ द माइंड द विजिबल ऑब्जेक्ट्स एंड द बॉडी तो इसी अविद्या के कारण हमारा मन बनता है जो दिखता है वो दिखता है और शरीर वास्तविक लगता है इट इज दिस इग्नोरेंस दैट इज ट्रैपिंग अस इनटू बॉडी आइडेंटिटी नेम आइडेंटिटी ऑब्जेक्ट्स विजिबल थिंग्स सो आवर टीचिंग ऑफ योग वशिष्ठा इंटेंड्स टू इफेस दिस ट्राइड फ्रॉम वंस कॉन्शियसनेस व्हाट अ ब्यूटीफुल थिंग दैट वी हैव टू रिमूव दिस मक दैट वी हैव पुट इन ओवर सो मेनी बर्थ्स over and over we have done that so those who wish to turn to the upanishads instead of yoga vishishta may do so the same truth is revealed in those scriptures also 
So the scriptures are the same. And if you study Yoga Vashishta and Upanishads, bravo, fine. You will see everything is similar. There is no disharmony. Scriptures are ever the same. So scriptures mein kuch farak nahi padta. Ye sab vahi Brahma Satya ka gyan hai, jo humko prapt hota hai. We do not insist that all must study the scripture alone. What is important is that one should not waste one's life which is like a droplet hanging on the tip of a leaf. All the people who died, do you think they knew that that was the day? Today was the day, <laughs> whenever they died, that was the day. They thought they will just go to work, do something, come back home and cook and all that stuff. But no, the clock had expired, the time was over, therefore no more extension, time to go. So therefore we should prepare for this journey by doing what we are doing now that way whenever we have to go who cares we have already done our homework we already know the right things Yamraj cannot come near you God will come and he will take you and if you are sincere you will continue to progress on the steps not even a single lesson will be lost nothing will be lost so therefore ideally you get enlightened and Minimum, you continue to progress. Either way, dono haath mein laddu aayenge. But mehnat karna padega. There is no easy way. Don't try to... Spirituality is not for lazy people. Not for people who are faithless. Or if they didn't succeed in the world, they'll think, okay, let me just go there and sit in an ashram and I'll get food. No, no, no. <laughs> they are also kicked out. They are called beggars. They are not saints. Saints are supposed to give guidance transform lives, change people, work harder than regular working people. That is the true definition. That's why Vashisht Muni is also saying, it doesn't matter which scripture you study. You study Bhagavad Gita, you study Upanishads, you study, we, that's why we do more than one. We do other scriptures. But understand, your life is transient and no one can bring back a moment that has slipped by with the help of all his wealth and strength everything that is what alexander said didn't he let the world see my hands i conquered the whole world yet i cannot buy one breath <laughs> isn't it to ye satya hai ye keval gap nahi hai keval baatein nahi hai these are not just man ghadant kahaniyan nahi hai sabke sath jo duniya ka sabse ameer aadmi hota hai wo bhi it is all left here only and that is the grace of God. He treats everybody the same whether you are a sweeper or you are a CEO. It doesn't matter to God. What karma did you do when you were on earth? What, what did you do? Did you lead an ethical, good, clean, happy life? Did you create other uh, people's, did you make a difference in other people's lives? Only then can we say we can look Yamraj in the eye, God in the eye and so on. So it is the height of folly to waste this precious life without aspiring for attaining liberation. What a beautiful comment that is, that it is a waste of our life. If nobody talks about liberation and they only talk about giving you material things and siddhis and this and that, you are wasting your time. That guru is wasting his time who is not directing the students on the biggest problem of life which is this terminal status we are all in. Like a doctor who gives medicine to a sick patient much in the same way we are all sick at the soul level and the sages and saints come and guide us and remove our sickness, show us the path to enlightenment or liberation and we will start next week we will start with section 176 to 179 which is brahman alone transcends the illusion of multiplicity multiplicity also is a brahm illusion that has to be dissolved so with this i will we conclude our satsang for today and before we do our aarti and the mantras I had promised to Mark David Vincennes from his question of last Friday. He had asked a good question. 
and I also want to make sure I share it with everybody so uh, we can all understand. I'm paraphrasing, I don't have, sorry Mark, I don't have your exact words from last week. But basically what Mark is asking is that, is it good to share the knowledge even if we are not enlightened and we are not self-realized and uh, uh, is it okay to for us to, um, to go ahead and share that, what we know? And the answer is not only not only is it good to share it is highly recommended that you share because otherwise but now having said that there are a few caveats the knowledge we share should be sincere coming from our heart of course and then david had also said mark had said when we study we will go deeper into the process because now we will have to share with others absolutely that is always the case if you are just an audience, you will listen half-heartedly or maybe even if you listen attentively, your preparation will never be the same unless you are teaching it. Just like a teacher, when a teacher goes, they are supposed to be the authority. So that doesn't mean you will learn everything or you will become enlightened or you will know every subject. But that topic that you are preparing for, you should put in your effort and with humbly share it. You can also encourage question and answers like I always do. And uh, be honest, if you don't know something, say you don't know and then you uh, find the answer. And then um, idea is to keep ego out of this equation for everybody. Doesn't matter who, which one, which one of us is doing the teaching. We don't have to prove I am right always. There is no such thing as always right or always wrong. We are all humans. We all make mistakes. But at, but are we sincere? That's the final analysis, the test. If you are giving your devotion and you are putting it sincerely, absolutely. Now, another thing is that um, in Hindi we say, so focus on something deep in if you dig deep in one place you will find water otherwise you try to dig here dig there dig there 10 feet here 5 feet here 2 feet here you have so many philosophies so many systems so many Vedanta theories so many different uh, uh, so called sampradays it will drive you crazy there is no such answer as a full utopia. So pick one that you are most aligned to and go deep in it and you will find the nectar. And then to nourish it, it's okay to put a seasoning of other things, but that's the only advice. Like I, the only reason if you are liking anything that I am teaching or I am sharing uh, with an open heart is because I stuck to the lotus feet of our Guruji, Swami Jyotirmanandji Maharaj. I followed his teachings with sincerity as much as I could, with my heart, with my body, with my effort. And uh, But I didn't get distracted into so many people say, oh, this is an easier path, that is a, this path, this is this, this is that, Swamiji, uh, come here, just come. No, 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 no. I have my life to, to deal with. I have my, I am totally contented. Only an uncontented person will run here and there. So make sure that you are well reconciled in your heart and then the education you are giving the, the topic, if you are doing it on self-realization or this path, it's beautiful. So continue that journey and I always support these endeavors by whoever does it because spirituality is a deep, deep um, science and it should be shared with devotion and with love. So David Ji, I hope I have Mark, I hope I have answered your question. But if you have any follow up questions or comments, or if you would like to discuss individually, you're welcome to call me or um, message me. But I also wanted to share with others, don't ever think you are not good enough. We are all the journey to a thousand miles starts with the first step. Take that first step and you will and this is what actually my guru asked me to do how i i didn't get 
like this where we have been doing satsanga for now 15 years regularly um, just by myself our guru encouraged us he says you know and you can start small even a small steady circle of three or four people is plenty it's not about volume it's not ki kitne logo ne dekha kitne logo ne satsang suna wo sab bhed, bhed kya hai? Bhed. like um, you know a fish market you don't want to be in a fish market you want to be in a diamond shop where few selected customers come but who are sincere much in the same way I, my focus is always on few people who are sincere and dedicated and understand what true spirituality means not just begging for god for this and that and this worldly things only so i hope that is the uh, my my guidance and advice but like i said you're welcome to follow up if you had any further comments on that so let us do our aarti together and then we will conclude our satsang thank you all for joining in and sunday we will see you on bhagavad gita which is a beautiful deep scripture and we are all enjoying a profound chapter every chapter is profound of course uh, but um, we were studying about meditation and uh, very deep deep topics about death how to handle when our final moment arrives all these things are in bhagavad gita most people don't realize it you see so that's the thing so let us do our aarti and then we will conclude our satsang for today I'd like to thank all the all of you sincere devotees yogini ji priya ji shankar ji uh, gautam ji taran ji satish vats ji it's so nice to to see you here today and then um, of course mark aaron who are always on zoom which is wonderful and then uh, uh, payal ji other people nalini ji is also here today kushma ji so all of you may you be divinely blessed and thank you uh, and understand yes priya ji so, uh, the self exists that's exactly right when you start seeing that and believing it and it starts to happen more and more understand we are deep on that journey so let us do aarti and then we will conclude our satsang jay jay aarti vigna vinayak vigna vinayak shri ganesha jay jay aarti subramanya subramanya kartikeya jay jay aarti venu gopala venu gopala venu lola pap vidura navnit chora jay jay aarti venkat ramana venkat ramana sankat harana sita rama radhe shama jay jay aarti gauri manohar gauri manohar bhavani shankar samba sada shiv uma maheshwar jay jay aarti raj rajeshwari raj rajeshwari tripura sundari mahakali mahalakshmi mahasaraswati mahashakti jay jay aarti anjaneya anjaneya hanumanta jay jay aarti datatreya datatreya trimurti avatara jay jay aarti chaneshwaraya chaneshwaraya bhaskaraya jay jay aarti sadguru natha sadguru natha shivananda sadguru natha jyotirmayananda sadguru natha sai baba jay jay aarti vigna vinayak na tatra suryo bhati na chandra tarakam nema vidyato bhati kuto yam agni tameva bhanta manubhati sarvam tasya bhasa sarvam idam vibhati om shanti shanti shanti
ओम त्रयंबक यजामहे सुगंधि पुष्टि वर्धनम उर्वाकम बंधना मृत्योर्मोक्षीयृता ओम स्वस्ती भवतु सर्वेशाम शांतिर्भवतु सर्वेशाम पूर्णम भवतु सर्वेशाम मंगलम भवतु सर्वे भवन्तु सुखिन सर्वे सन्त निरामया सर्वे भद्रा पश्यंतु मा कचि दुख भाग भवे असतो मा सदमया तम सो मा ज्योतिर्गमया मृत्योर्मा अमृत गमय सहनावतु सह नौ भुनक् सह वीर कर वह तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तु मा विदिषा वह ओ शाति 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 ओं कर्चरण वा कायज कर्मज वा श्रवण नयन जम वा मानस वा पराधम विहितम विहितम वा सर्वेतक्षम स्व जय जय करुणाधे श्री महादेव शंभो जय जय करुणाधे श्री महादेव शंभो जय जय करुणाधे श्री महादेव शंभो समस्त लोका सुखिन ओम ब्रह्मर्पण ब्रह्म हवि ब्रह्म अग्नौ ब्रह्मनाहुत ब्रह्म तेन गंतव्यम ब्रह्म कर्म सामिन अहम वैश्वानरो भूत्वा प्राणी देहमाश्रिता प्राण अपान सुक्ता पचा मनम चतुर्विधम हरि ओं तत्सत ब्रह्मर्पणमस्तु समस्त लोका सुखिन ओम शांति 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 हरि ओम तत्सत टू ऑल ऑफ यू डिवाइन सोल्स शक्ति भक्ति मुक्ति मे वी ऑल कंटिन्यू दिस ब्यूटिफुल जर्नी ब्यूटिफुल सत्संग दिस पैथ टू लिब्रेशन टुगेदर एंड मे वी ऑल फाइंड पीस एंड कंटेंटमेंट एंड हैप्पीनेस तो आप सबको शांति मिले सुख मिले कल्याण हो मंगल हो फिर आपसे संडे को मिलेंगे आई विल सी यू ऑन संडे मॉर्निंग फॉर भगवत गीता हरि ओम तत्सत हरि ओम तत्सत एंड गुरु पूर्णिमा इज ऑन मंडे जुलाई थर्ड ऑफिशियली बट द ज्योतिर्मयनंद आश्रम इज सेलिब्रेटिंग इट टुमोरो सो गॉड ब्लेस ईच ऑफ यू एंड आई विल सी यू ऑन संडे मॉर्निंग हरि ओम तत्सत